Hey, what's up everybody? Game Dad here, coming at you guys with the second half, part two of my Wii U collection. Now, come with me as we check out what games I got left for you. Pokémon Tournament was released in 2015 by the Pokémon Company and is a fun 3D open arena fighting game set in the Pokémon universe. I actually really enjoyed playing this game. Rayman Legends was released by Ubisoft in 2013 and has classic Rayman gameplay with a shiny new shell and new gameplay mechanics. Is that a bad thing? Absolutely not. Still love me some Rayman platforming. Skylanders Giants was released in 2012 by Vicarious Visions and is a bring the toy to life kind of game. It is very elementary in its gameplay, but hey, at least it's pretty. Skylanders Superchargers was released by Vicarious Visions in 2015, and I have to be honest, the only reason that I own this game is because I wanted the amiibos that it came with. I haven't really played it beyond the game capture for this video. Splatoon was released in 2015 by Nintendo, and while it is a lot of fun now, when it was first released, it felt pretty bare bones since a lot of the content wasn't available at launch. I'm not as big into multiplayer shooters as when I was a teenager, but this game is pretty fun. Star Fox Guard was released by Nintendo in 2016 and is actually a really fun tower defense style game. You have to monitor several different camera angles to prevent enemies from entering your base and it's actually really addicting. I got mine bundled with the combo pack for Star Fox Zero. Star Fox Zero was released in 2016 by Nintendo and didn't really do it for me. On-rail shooters are okay in my opinion, but I prefer Star Fox 64 to this one. Super Mario 3D World was released by Nintendo in 2013 and is a fantastic game. I loved going through all the new worlds and discovering all the places that the cat suit could take me. This is a super fun game. Super Mario Maker was released in 2015 by Nintendo and allows people to do something that they've only dreamed of, make their own Super Mario levels. While this did have an annoying unlock mechanic when it was first released that has since been removed, this game overall is incredibly fun and creative. Super Smash Bros. Wii U was released by Bandai Namco in 2014 and is a continuation of the franchise and the game that launched the amiibo craze. While this game is definitely fun, I do still prefer Melee over this one. I do, however, collect every amiibo I can find now. Wii Fit U was released in 2013 by Nintendo and is basically just a sequel to the original Wii Fit. It has new activities and challenges, of course, but it really is just more of the same with slightly better graphics. Xenoblade Chronicles X was released by Monolith Soft in 2015 and is a graphical masterpiece on the Wii U. While I do prefer the Xeno series on the Wii to this one, it's still a pretty fun game with a massive world to explore. Yoshi's Woolly World was released in 2015 by Good Feel and is everything you could possibly want in a Yoshi game. It's cute, funny, you get an adorable little dog named Poochie. The gameplay mechanics in this game are fresh and new and keep you in the game for sure. The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD was released by Nintendo in 2016 and was actually a really nice update graphically to the game. The original game always looked a little washed out to me and this version is super clean and crisp. Add to the fact that it's already an awesome game and it's a winner. The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD was released in 2013 by Nintendo and I personally think that it is exponentially better on the Wii U, if not just for the added functionality through the gamepad. Exploration is vastly more simple and the game looks and plays great. Now that is every game currently in my Wii U collection. Now just like in my previous video showcasing part one of my Wii U collection, let me know down in the comments below. Are there any games that I'm missing that are totally must-haves? Also, while you're there, please go ahead and hit those like and subscribe buttons and also hit that notification bell so you get alerted every time I got a new video coming out. Now as always, I'm Game Dad. I thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you later.